Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart this old Kirby vacuum cleaner. Not sure how old it is, I did find it a couple weeks ago, it doesn't work. And a lot of my subscribers from the UK, Sweden, Germany, shout out to all of you guys, often talk about the amount of plastic we acquire from our appliances and electronics here in Canada and have to throw into the landfill. And rightfully so. Um, the, our friends from Europe definitely are able to take a bulk of their plastics and recycled materials, divert them from the landfill. And just to prove this point, um, I did take a newer model vacuum cleaner apart in another video, so if you're interested, go check that out. But I also, for the sake of this video, I uh, wanted to just quickly show you the difference. Uh, I did, in my other one, get a nice copper bearing motor and a nice appliance cord, but unfortunately, I also got a large amount of plastic. And unfortunately, here in southwestern Ontario, our recycling processing facilities do not have the means or equipment to process this into uh, recycled materials, so unfortunately this is going to go into landfill. Um, so hopefully that will soon change. This model, what I love about this older model is 99% of this is scrappable material. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take it apart. I've actually never had one like this. Um, I'm hoping it's relatively the same, but definitely want to show you the difference in waste compared to scrappable materials. So I've already, for the sake of this video, removed some of the pieces. And this is probably the biggest piece of waste that's gonna go into the garbage. But what's nice about this is the top here is actually metal. So this piece is gonna go into my uh, metal bin. Inside, if I open it up, there is a nice hose here um, that is that has, sorry, a steel coil that goes all the way down. And the nice thing about this coil is I'm actually going to take this and throw this into my steel pile as is. Um, because of price of steel is not great, the scrapyards are not going to be too concerned with a little bit of plastic. So I will cut this out. Um, this is plastic, unfortunately, and the bag. Uh, the zipper is steel, so I might actually just leave this uh, on. Uh, but other than this, there is just a little bit of plastic still on the handle and the rest is gonna be scrappable. So, like my other one, here is my appliance cord. In Canada, these appliance cords go for about $1.10 a pound. This is just over a pound. What's nice about it also is it has two really nice clean brass prongs. Uh, pr brass right now in Canada is about $1.85 a pound. Some people will take these off and put them into their brass pile. Some will leave them on for the weight. I actually do take them off and put them into my brass but it's up to you. Uh, there's not really a difference in price, um, but for me, as I said, uh, I store it all up and uh, eventually I'm gonna bring all my brass in together, so it's entirely up to you. So there's a nice cord. Uh, the arm here, it just had a bolt that I had to take out. Uh, it does have a little bit of cord on it still. There is a small bit of plastic on here, um, but the frame here, is either aluminum, cast aluminum, or stainless steel. Um, I actually have another video on how to test or tell if it is aluminum or stainless steel, and one of those tests is the um, grinder test. And the nice thing about the grinder test, test sorry, is that stainless steel will spark, cast aluminum will not. So all I'm gonna do is take an angle grinder, I'm just gonna hit the cutting disc on it. If it sparks, it's stainless steel. If it doesn't spark, it's cast aluminum. So here we go. Just gonna hold it. Okay, so it does not spark, which means that this frame is cast aluminum. There are a couple spots here, uh, right here that has screws that is steel. I do have to remove those. Um, if I don't, then this is gonna be dirty cast price. Uh, dirty cast is about five cents a pound. Clean cast aluminum is about 30 cents a pound. It has gone down significantly because of the COVID, 
Um, but very simple to, to clean, as I said, I just have to take this backing off, it's plastic, um, the screws out, and then again, nice piece of cast aluminum. As well, I still have a piece of the cord that will go into my appliance cord. There is, just like the other one, a motor that comes out of the back. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this, just so I can remove it. Okay, there is inside of here, um, a little bit of wire. There's gonna be a plug that has brass. Um, as well, there is the lever that goes up and down to allow the back of this vacuum to uh, go up and down in terms of angle or adjustment. Um, I just have to pop this head off with a screwdriver. It is rubber. Um, there is a nice bolt underneath, so I'm just gonna take that out. Screwdriver, pop this off. Hopefully, it comes off. Okay, so just a little, another little piece of waste. There is a screw here. Some people do use a drill. I don't. Uh, I find screwdrivers therapeutic. Okay, but inside here, there is going to be some silver contacts in here. Anytime you have a clicking of a lever, um, there is going to be a little piece of silver in there. Um, and it just needs to be broken open with a hammer. There is some nice brass prongs, um, some nice steel bolts, uh, some more wire. This wire is going to be classified as lower grade wire um, because there is not a lot of... Actually, no, this is going to be uh, appliance wire as well because actually it is pretty thick. Uh, so I will also put this into my um, appliance wire. Um, just so you, if you don't know what a silver contact is, I am going to have an upcoming video on silver contacts and where to find silver. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. But that is really what a silver contact is. That little dot there is silver. I take those off, I put them into a little vial, um, and hopefully one day, I can make a little silver bouillon, but uh, that's anywhere you're gonna find a click. This pair of wheels here does have a little bit of steel on there. There's a bolt I just had to take off to get this, uh, these wheels off. And even though the wheels are plastic, because it has the steel frame, I am gonna throw this into my steel pile. And this nice heavy piece is going to be clean cast aluminum once I take out the little pieces of silk, uh, steel. And all I do is just use an angle grinder, it's gonna cut right off. But this is good weight, this is a good uh, three pounds of uh, cast aluminum. Uh, I'm starting to reveal the motor. As you can see inside, there is a nice copper bearing motor there. Uh, there is a little bit of plastic, I just need to take these bolts out, hopefully to remove them do that. Um, there are some more wires that come off of this that are going to go into my wire pile. Uh, the screws, I collect the screws and I will put them into a bin. If they're in good condition, I may use them again. A lot of times, screws like this, they're perfect, um, so you don't have to buy any. Um, if you are bringing them to the scrapyard, make sure that you separate them. Um, put them into a bin. A lot of times I see some amateurs bringing them in um, and they fall out of a truck, unfortunately, or nails. And obviously that leads to flat tires. We don't want that. Okay, so I'm just taking out the last two bolts here. Some nuts. Hopefully this is going to pop out, it's attached somewhere, but I cannot figure out, oh there we go, just hit it with a hammer maybe, there we go. So the top piece here, there is going to be 
just some screws right here that I have to remove off. This plate will become cast aluminum. Um, I could throw this into my dirty cast, but like I said, very simple. All I'm gonna do just to get these steel pieces out, just take a grinder, make a couple incisions and pop them out. This motor here, once I take this face plate off, this will pop out. This will actually go into my copper bearing motor pile as is. Because it is so tightly wound in there, um, I cannot actually get it out without wasting a couple of cutting discs, um, so it's not worth it. In Canada here, copper bearing motors are about 10 cents a pound, um, and that's gonna be a nice weight. I do wanna focus on this copper bearing motor though. This one right here, that is gonna be a nice chunk of copper, so I just have to get these two bolts out. Hold on, this is where the nuts come from. So again, really nice set of nuts and bolts. Just gonna pop out, there's one. There's my other one. There is also gonna be some copper right on the edge and brass here as well. Okay, so you can see very nice conditioned, even though this is an older vacuum cleaner, I'm gonna use these again, so that's great. There is a lot of low-grade wire still connected here. There is going to be some steel on there. Um, this copper rear motor, how to get this out, I'm actually just going to hit this with a hammer just to break it off, um, just so it'll slide out. safety glasses just so it doesn't get you in the eye um, but definitely some nice copper and brass prongs that are gonna come out of that this uh, copper ends right here these connectors these will go into my copper bin okay but uh, I'm just gonna hit this it's already broken but I'm gonna break it further I'm gonna release the motor here and so as you can see some nice brass connectors in there. Um, a little bit of plastic, unfortunately. Um, and what I'm gonna do to get this copper out of here, again, this copper motor will go for 10 cents a pound, and some people will leave it. Um, the problem right now with newer models is sometimes, or more often now, the copper looks like copper, but it is actually aluminum. So. Before I actually cut this, I'm actually going to scratch it. I'm just gonna take a file and I'm gonna rub it. If this was a metallic color, it would be aluminum. So it's not worth taking apart. I would just throw this into my copper berry motors all together and get 10 cents a pound. But as you can see, scratch it again. It reveals a nice copper look. So this is actually copper. And it's very easy to take this out. All I'm gonna do is actually gonna make an incision down there and down there. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm just gonna pop it up out of the, um, using leverage from my vise. So here we go, very simple. Anytime I cut, uh, I do like to have uh, a visor on, just uh, added protection. Uh, I am very accident prone, unfortunately. So I'm gonna do that. did not come from the copper, it actually came from the steel, which tells me that I have cut through. And just to make this easier for myself, I am gonna grab it and just kinda pull it up. As you can see, really nice copper look there inside. This just makes it easier when I um, pull it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it into my vise. I'm gonna turn it upside down. All right, hold it in there securely. Just gonna 
take my thing here. Just use science to lift it up. Sometimes you just need a little bit of elbow grease. Okay, but as you can see, a nice spool of copper there. Gonna do it to this, the other one here. There it is. So now I have number two copper wire here. I am gonna take the little piece of paper off there, but number two copper right now is about $3.50. And this is about almost a pound, not quite, but it's almost there. What I do is I actually just put it into a big bag and it adds up. So as you can see, this bag is actually over 10 pounds. So I got $75 worth of number two copper here. And the nice thing is I also still have the steel from the Copperberry motor, okay? Um, which I will throw into my steel pile. So really easy to take out that copper and it's definitely worth it. Okay, the rest of this, as I said, there is still some wires in there that I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna remove the face plate. Okay, but if I take a magnet to this, as you can see, there is some steel on here. I could throw this in after I take this out as dirty cast, but all of it is is secured by some screws and they're very easy to take out. So. In all, I'm gonna have a really nice, heavy, cast aluminum vacuum cleaner uh, piece from here as well, um, some steel. Um, I'm gonna leave this rubber piece on there. Um, and that is it. It's, it's amazing. I went from, just to show you the plastic and garbage, this from the old model, To all of this. Um, so it did not take me that long to take apart, uh, which is great. Shout out again to all of my subscribers and friends from Europe. I totally agree with you about reducing the amount of plastics here in Canada. I'm hoping this gets to the right people or the more we can petition to get our plastics out of the landfill uh, and use them for something else to become more efficient like uh, the places in Europe. Um, so shout out again to all of you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe. And because this video is going to view uh, around the holidays, I want to wish everyone a happy and safe holiday and a great new year. Again, thanks for watching. Tin Man out.